Senator Hume. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister representing the Minister for Infrastructure, Transport and Regional Development, Senator Mackenzie. Now, yesterday I asked the Minister to update the Senate about small business policies, in particular investment in Victoria and how that supported economic growth for the nation. Today I would like to ask the Minister to update the Senate on how the Liberal, Nationals government, the Liberal National Government's infrastructure investment in Victoria supports economic growth for the nation. The Minister representing the Minister for Infrastructure, Transport and Regional Development, Senator Mackenzie. Thank you very much. and Thank you, Senator Hume, for your question. As you know, Melbourne, in the great state of Victoria, is growing more than 140,000 people each and every year. And this congestion is being felt by families and businesses in our home state. The Liberal National Government has a plan to ease the impact of that population growth with our $75 billion congestion-busting infrastructure package for major roads, rail, regional development and other public transport infrastructure. For more than 50 years, Victorians have been calling for a rail link to Melbourne Airport from Melbourne City. The federal government has put $5 billion on the table to finally connect Tullamarine Airport to the city by rail. Victorians will also benefit from the $235 million upgrade to the North East Rail Line between Melbourne and Albury-Wodonga, which will improve the journey for regional passengers along the route and communities, including right throughout the electorate of Indi. And we're going further, <laughs> investing $1.6 billion, billion dollars, Senator Hume, Order. for the regional rail arrival package to deliver improvements across each and every regional passenger line in, in Victoria. More than 1,000 jobs. More than 1,000 jobs will be created to deliver Senator these Carr, much you've been needed so restrained upgrades. Until now. Victoria will also benefit from additional funding for crucially important roads to recovery, black spot and bridges renewal programs. Victoria's share of federal infrastructure investment includes $3 billion for the East West Link, a key part of our plan to ease congestion in Melbourne. But what did the State Labor Party do? What did they do to actually address congestion? They didn't actually build the road. They spent the $1.3 billion not to build the road. We have record investment to build infrastructure to ease congestion in Victoria to help get people home to their families faster, create thousands of jobs and leave, uh, address the long-term growth of our nation in the fastest growing city in the country. Senator Hume, a supplementary question. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. How will the investment uh, that the minister referred to improve productivity across supply chains and support regional growth and job creation in Victoria? Senator Mackenzie. Ah, oh, there he is. Uh, thank you. Well, we do that by connecting our fabulous fresh produce to global and domestic markets. The Inland Rail Project is a transformational job-creating project, creating a corridor of commerce from Melbourne to Brisbane. We've already committed to supporting the $440 million Murray Basin Rail project to connect Mildura, Mildura to Melbourne. And if elected uh, in a couple of weeks, the Victorian State Coalition will add an additional $80 million. This is essential to enable the turnaround of fresh local Mildura primary produce, such as table grapes and origin, oranges, to get to the port on time and out to those markets. Daniel Andrews and Labor have failed to commit to this additional $80 million. They're more worried about votes in inner city seats and fighting off an insurgent Di Natale Greens than delivering the essential infrastructure for regional <laughs> Victoria to themselves. grow. Only a Liberal national government has right the vision there. to grow our regional economies, drive local job growth and create more opportunities for families there to keep living and working in regional Victoria. Senator Hume, final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. Is the minister aware of any risks? Is the minister aware of any risks to the job to the government's job creating plan? Senator Mackenzie. Thank you, Senator Hume. Yes, I am. The biggest risk to improving Victorian infrastructure is the election of a Labor government, whether it is Bill Shorten or Daniel Andrews. Daniel Andrews and State Labor have been in part in Parliament for 15 of the last 19 years. And the one thing that's gotten bigger and better, the one thing is congestion in Melbourne. They've actually created it because Labor doesn't understand that you need to invest in critical infrastructure to absolutely deal with the population growth. But they've also forgotten regional Victoria. Daniel thinks that country Victoria ends in Geelong and Ballarat. You've failed to address the rising population in Victoria, and now the infrastructure can't cope. As Deloitte Access Economic Partner Chris Richardson has said, infrastructure money is at risk on being spent on vanity projects rather than on projects that tackle congestions and growing our regions. 
sounds just like Jacinta Allen. Only the Liberal National Government will support regional businesses and communities through our Senator record.